one to be doing that today. Hey, thank you for giving us the Christmas gift that we all needed. Did you think this day was ever going to come? No, it all snuck up on me by surprise, actually, because for the longest time, I was really anxious and eager to show the film, but I was really so distracted with the pandemic that I wasn't even paying attention. And then when this idea came around to release this movie this way, I almost gasped because I thought, oh my gosh, yes, you make these movies to make money. Yes, you make these movies to be in this big theatrical things. And, you know, but the truth is really, I make these movies because I want to do make things that I think I love and share them with the world and have that communion. So the idea of giving anything to the world right now that they might enjoy is just profound to me. You know, and, and thank you, because I, I can't give away too much, but I will say that this message that it leaves us, leaves us with is exactly what we really do need. I kind of said that jokingly about a Christmas gift, but truly there's no joke about that. And it's, uh, it's very um, apparent that it's going to resonate with many people. Now, your love for Wonder Woman uh, reflects, is totally reflected in, in both Wonder Woman movies. But what's special about this one compared to the, the one in 2017? I think the, the the one in 2017 was really the birth of a hero. So her her she is telling a deeper story, but it's 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 mostly about her and and her coming to terms with what mankind is and deciding to be a hero. This movie we really got to take Wonder Woman at her full power and try to tell a bigger, more complex, and hopefully you know deep story. So it was it, that that part of it is like using a great hero to to explore other deep things. Even though, of course, we want it to be most most the most fun time and a great romance and all of those things, but also you're able to talk about bigger things. Yeah, absolutely, I'm curious to know how involved you were with the casting of Kristen Wiig because getting a chance to see her kind of come out of her shell, I think that her acting has gone to a whole new level through yeah. this movie. Ah, thank you. I was totally, I was the one who picked her. I totally believe in her. Thank you. I love this kind of thing because when you uh, originally make these kinds of announcements, there a lot of people are unsure. They don't know what you're doing yet. I, she just nailed it and hit it out of the park and is such a skilled and smart actress. I was so proud of her work here and how she did it. And so it's thrilling to hear positive feedback now. Oh, and I was looking at her, I was like, I, I remember watching this girl in SNL, but gone are the days of sketch comedy. And this yeah. is just a brand new woman and, and I love it and I'm here for it. What's yeah. your wish for the world right now? My wish for the world is that everybody could find the hero inside of them and try to start working fast to try to save this world. Honestly, I think that we have a lot of big, big, big problems and issues. And it's been, it's more important than ever to model finding the hero inside you and choosing mankind over yourself, you know? And so I hope that that's what, what we were able to start heading towards. I'd like to wish for the same. And, and to kind of wrap things up, what will you be doing on Christmas morning? I'm sure I'll be, first of all, I, Christmas morning is very sacred to us. We'll be opening our presents at God knows 5 a.m. when my son wakes up. But um, I'm sure I'll be fretting and reading the internet and playing Wonder Woman 1984 on a loop all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I know that all households will have it now have that opportunity to do that at home or if they want to go to the theater great but this is yeah. going to be the gift that keeps on giving patty thanks for talking with me thank you so much nice to talk to you